Hi everyone and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. So I finished the career last time and there's still some more game to play which is the 4x4 add-on and I thought I'd continue with that because if I start playing another game now I'm probably going to forget how to play this one so I might as well finish this one up completely. We'll also be doing the quarter mile add-on as well just to just for completionist's sake. I don't think I'll do the endless mode because I believe the next car mechanic games are basically endless. So we'll get to an endless mode once we get to it. But for now, let's let's give the 4x4 add-on a go. Let's straight back into it's just straight back into it, I guess. Mount mount new wheels. Wheels on my car are worn out. Please change them to new ones. Okay. That's cool. So we haven't ever done any of these in the actual career mode. So these should be a little bit different from what we're normally used to. Can I examine those? Yeah, so they want us to change all their wheels. Starting simple. And get the next one. That's the third tire, I think. Is it the third? Yes, it is the third. Uh, that one is 12%. And that one is 15. What type are they actually? Ball thorn. Ball thorn. Wanderer wheel. So we need four of them. We can't repair these. I, I doubt we can repair these. Yeah, we can't repair those. Ball, ball thorn, ball, 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 bolt horn, ball horn. Uh, you pronounce that in some combination of those words. How many did I just buy? Yeah, I did buy four. I almost bought another one. The wheel on. we get our upgrades from the career mode i don't think our upgrades came over because it feels a little slow and the third one And the last one. And then, oops, gonna put the bonnet down. And then we'll put, we'll sell all the old ones because we don't want to carry those over. And that should be the order done. Yes, repaired. Nice and simple. Place worn out engine parts. I need to have my whole engine checked. Please see what's wrong and replace all damaged parts. Okay. Looks like the alternator. What about their serpentine or timing belt? Their timing belt seems to be fine. Water pump looks a little... Yeah, water pump. Um, so we'll get all that off. We need to take the tensioner off. Alternator comes out. I wonder what else. Let's check their starter. Actually, let's check their filter. 
But this seems to be fine. Let's check the oil. Come on. Oil seems to be fine as well. How's their starter? Yeah, the starter looks alright. Could be their spark plug as well. That airflow tube does not look great. Let's just check this. And the airflow meter. What is that? 8%. Let's check the filter. Yeah, they need a new filter as well. Oop, no, 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 no. I need to take that off. Check the ignition wire. Let's check the spark plugs, actually. That spark plug does not look good. Yep, 12, uh, 21. 95. 88. I think the last one looked pretty bad. Yeah, 10. So let's take that out. We'll also check the ignition module as well. What is that? 13%. A lot of work to do here. I hope there's nothing wrong with their gearbox. Let's actually put the cap back on this before I forget, because I think that was fine. Yep, cap was fine. All right, alternator, pump, ignition module, two spark plugs, a filter, the airflow meter, and the airflow tube. I can repair two of those things, I think. Oh, three of those things. Cool. And we can do the alternator as well. Nice. I will put those back in. Because I believe the timing and the serpentine belt were also alright. Yes, serpentine belt was fine. Tensioner was also fine. Two spark plugs. Airflow tube. Filter. Two spark plugs, I think. Spark. S. One. Two. Is that everything? Why am I forgetting something? Filter. Put the cover back on. Airflow meter. Oops, come on. Airflow tube. Put the spark plugs in. We forgot the ignition module. That's all right. We'll go get a new ignition module. Should be up in I. Ignition module. There we go. New ignition module. On it goes. Ignition wires. Put the cover back on. I think that was everything. Let me just check. Yeah, that was everything. Put the hood down. And we are done. So what's next? Relace corro <laughs> corroded drive shelf. Relace. Replace. My friend from Diagnostic Station told me that my drive shaft is not going to live long due to corrosion. Please replace it. At least they got it right there. Okay, let's replace the drive shaft. 
Oh, they've been... They've been busy out there. Okay, so we need to... Dismant... Take the wheels off. So that we can get to the axle. So I didn't have to put it up yet. So get the wheels off first. So how do we get that out? Did I have to do that? Maybe not. Can we get to that? No, we have to take... Oh, okay. We have to take the... Suspension... Out. So we need to take those off. We need to take the spring out first. And then we can take... Okay, so the spring is obstructing the bolt. So we need to make sure we get the spring out. And then we can get the rear axle out. Okay, interesting. And there we go. We've got we've got the drive shaft. Is that it said rear drive shaft? Is that is there more to this drive shaft? Are they tricking me? Let's just double check. Wow, they're they've been really taking this places this vehicle places can i repair that yes i can nice so we'll put the new one back uh, the repaired one back in and that goes put their rear axle back in Put their shock absorbers back on. Put the spring. We'll do the right side now. Spring. And then we'll drop the car down and we'll put the wheels back on. There we go. They might be back for some more repairs later very likely considering some bits are looking quite worn out and there we go i think that's it yes all done repaired Repair and place worn out parts. I've got bad luck with this one. First the belt broke and then the battery isn't charging even when the engine is running. Please check that. Okay. So I guess... Wow, that battery is... Is looking a bit... A bit in trouble there. So let's check. Looks like the tensioner. Oh, they're missing a pulley. Well, I'll take the tensioner out. We'll get them a new pulley. Let's examine their belt. That might be why their belt was snapping. Anything else? No. So what did we need to get? Tensioner. We can repair the battery. And we need to replace their pulley. So let's repair the battery. They need a new tensioner. And we need to replace their idler pulley. 
And I think that was it. Over here. In goes the new pulley. And on goes that new tensioner. We put the serpentine belt. Oh, they're missing a serpentine belt. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they had a lot of trouble. Serpentine belt. It's just a normal one. There we go. I think that should be it. Is it it? No. Repair and replace or replace worn out parts. Belt broke. Battery isn't charging. Even when did you... Is this where the OBD scan comes in? Is this actually going to do something? Well, I still haven't looked up what that's supposed to do. And I still don't know if that did anything. Did it actually do something? No. So... Oh, I didn't put the battery back in. Yeah, well, that, that would that would be helpful, wouldn't it? So, how about now? Yes, repaired. That car's going nowhere without a battery. Repair or replace worn out parts. I heard loud noises when I drive. The noises get louder when I speed up. I cannot tell which side they come from. Are you driving into a crowd? So, where could the noises be coming from? Well, they could be coming from literally any part of this vehicle, but that gearbox looks pretty bad. Can we examine that? No. What about the starter? What is the average condition of this vehicle? yellows okay so that gearbox looks pretty bad that drive axle i believe so there's a front yeah okay it's four by four it's front and rear drive axle so we're gonna have to their rear axle looks pretty bad drive shafts these are drive shafts yeah that looks pretty bad so we need to take out the springs oh right the wheels We need to get the wheels off, otherwise we can't get the the axle off. I suppose I could have drove it out to the track and maybe that would have highlighted those for me so I didn't have to don't have to figure it out on my own. Actually, let's have a look at the upgrades. Yeah, the upgrades have reset. I wonder how long this add-on is then. Well, let's let's spend some money on on the business, on the tools in the garage, on the bec becoming a better mechanic. Increasing the commerce. Yeah, we could we could afford to do one of each. And maybe five percent more income. Two percent. We'll do the discount. We'll do the income. Yeah, there we go. That that'll do. So let's get that rear axle out. What is that? 13%. Yeah, that's pretty bad. 
take the drive shaft off. You also might need to do... Can I examine that? Yes, tw Ooh, 12. Can I examine this? No. Well, definitely the front drive shaft. So we need to get the front wheels off. Do the other side now. Okay, lift it up again. Can we repair that rear axle? Yeah, we can. Oh, might as well repair that as well. Okay, we need to take the springs out here as well. The same way we do on the back. Now we can get to the front drive shaft. And then we have to get to the, the gearbox from the top, it looks like. So let's lower it down. Is there a starter? Yes, the starter is over here. I wonder if we can repair that gearbox as well. How's their clutch plate? Everything else here looks fine. So let's see if we can repair that gearbox. We can. Wow, that's really expensive. There we go. We'll put that straight back in. starter back on make sure we don't forget the starter on goes that now we'll go to put the front drive axle back in a drive shaft sorry and drive axle so drive shaft drive axle Shock absorbers, the spring, and the shock absorber, spring, we'll do the back as well before we bring the car back down. And then shock absorber bring again and the last shock absorber with the last spring let's just check yeah those look fine and then we'll put the wheels back on Now for the front ones. And the last one.
And I think that is it. It is done. Repaired. Yes. Replace damaged suspension parts. I rode into a sewer drain and my car got damaged. I got 2,000 bucks from my insurance and I don't want to pay more for the repairs. Well, okay, well. Let's chuck him on the diagnostic path. Can I? Yes. That was a bit strange. So the front ones seem all right. Front right is a little bit suspicious. Right side of this vehicle seems a little lower than the rest. Check the suspension. The left front suspension is really bad. It's a left front suspension. I think the wheel is also pretty badly damaged. Yeah, it's 12%. Oh boy. Out a tie rod. In a tie rod. Take the sway bar off. Get this suspension off. Suspension of the shock absorber B, I think it was. I didn't clear out my inventory, I think. I didn't, but I it's there. B front left. And we'll get the suspension arm off as well. Looks like uh bushing is also need to be replaced. And we'll repair that suspension arm. Repair. We'll go put that back in. We'll get a bushing. So we'll be done with the undercarriage. Pushing. Well, we need an outer tie rod. You also need an inner tie rod. There's a rubber bushing. We need suspension front left B. We also need... We don't need a sway bar. Am I forgetting something? Inner tie rod. That's what I was looking. There we go. Inner tie rod. And that should be all the parts. So we'll put the bushing back in. New bushing. Inner tie rod. Outer tie rod. Here's shock absorber B. The sway bar back on. Right. Need to replace Grand Olsen wheel. Grand Olsen wheel. Did he give us enough? I think we've spent more than what he gave. Well, let's see if there's a spare. Yeah. That's what you're getting. You didn't give us enough money, I don't think. There we go. And we'll sell all these parts, because we don't need them. And that should be done repaired replace damaged parts of the clutch the clutch is sliding 
I probably burned it while I was trying to pull my friend's car out of the mud. Please replace the clutch. It'll take seconds for you. No, it won't. That, don't rub it in my face. Getting to the gearbox is not a matter of seconds. It is probably the most work you have to put into getting... Getting, just getting to it. You have to take all the wheels off. So let's, let's, let's get the starter off because that's where it begins. Yeah. Time to take this whole car apart. Seconds. Sec, yeah, this matter of seconds. Oh, yeah, so we have to take the whole suspension apart. Come on. There. I didn't take the wheels off. Well, let's, let's just get the suspension out. Don't assume time. Don't ever assume time when you're getting someone to work on your stuff. Negotiate time. Find out how much it will take. Be a little bit more respectful. Then... Oh, that's, that's advice that goes for freelancing as well as working professionally. out now let's jump over to the rear axle Get the rear drive shaft out and now we bring the car back down to get to the gearbox Yeah, that friction plate is toasted. Out comes the friction plate. It's 28%. So we'll get him a new friction plate. That'll take a matter of seconds to purchase. And then we can spend many minutes putting the whole car back together there we go the bearing back on on goes the old gearbox Let's lift the car up again so we can get the drive shafts back in. I forgot to put the starter on. Let's not forget to do that. An axle. Shock absorber. Spring. Absorber. Spring. Now let's put 
the rear drive shaft back in shock absorber again spring through the other side put the shock of last shock absorber back in and the last spring back in wow that's a lot of work let's make sure we put the starter in first or i forget because i probably will on goes the starter and then let us put their wheels back on do the back one Go to the right side. Chuck those on there. And for the last front right. And that should be a matter of seconds. According to this person. How was that? Was that, was that seconds enough for you? Let's uh, sell all the parts. Oh, there's only one. That's good. And we are repaired. There you go. So what's next? Perform chip tuning. Min 5%. I want to start racing in off-road events, but my engine lacks power to go uphill. Can you add some horse... Horses under the hood. I don't think horses are really going to fit under there, so we better chip tune this thing. Okay, let's be really bad at this. Uh, well, that was easy. That's probably going to be the best one I've ever done. Twenty three percent. That was a fluke. That was just a fluke. Repaired. There you go. Enjoy your little racing events. Fix the suspension. Replace oil filters. Replace oil. There are loud noises from my suspension. Please check what's going on. And by the way, please check the oil, fil oil and filters. Okay. So let's, let's just check the suspension looks like a mess. They wanted us to repair that, right? Yeah, this, fix the suspension. Uh, what about the back? Yeah, the back right one looks like it's a bit rusted over too. So let's, let's check their filters. That filter needs to be replaced. Come on. Yeah, their oil needs to be changed. We'll check their airflow filter. Yeah, that filter has to come out as well. What else? We'll check their fuel filter as well. But let's get these wheels off. Because we need to get to the suspension. How's that sway bar? That sway bar is not looking good either. Left sway bar. Shock absorber A front left. That spring was all right. I can put that back in. Uh, let's check 
the right side. Oops, sway bar. Can you get the sway bar off? You also need to get take the inner and outer tie rod rod off on this side. Shock absorber. Right front. What about that spring? Well, let's take that spring out and have a look. 94. That's alright. We also need to get the suspension arm on that side out. I believe I can get that from underneath, so we'll do that. Uh, let's lift that up, because we need to get the suspension arm out on the front right. What about the bushing? Yeah, that bushing looks a little toasted. 11%. Twelve percent for that suspension arm. Oops, looks like the fuel filter also needs to come out. What about their fuel pump? That was eighteen percent. Okay, so we need to take this the rear left suspension arm off. That spring looks a bit rough as well, ten percent. Need to get the muffler off. So we can get to the suspension arm. That suspension arm looks alright. 82. What about that spring? 81. We get the rear shock absorber. 12%. So we'll repair what we can. Suspension arm. Suspension arm. That's alright. We need oil filter. Fuel filter. Air filter. Fuel filter. Oil filter. We needed an inner tie rod. We needed an outer. We needed an oil filter. You also needed a rubber bushing. We needed shock absorber front left and front right A. We needed a rear shock absorber. And I believe... Did we need a rear spring? Needed a left... Sway bar arm as well. Let's just double check. Was there a right one? Yeah, the right one was alright. A rear spring... Yeah, one rear spring. I almost remembered everything. That's a bit different. There we go. New spring. Repaired suspension arm. The other side. Put the new shock absorber in. Suspension arm. Put that muffler back on. Let's see. Put the new suspension arm in. Put their new bushing in as well. Over here. Bushing. Now we have to drop it down so that we can put the inner and outer tie rod on the right side, I think it is. There we go, tie rod is in. New shock absorber for the front right. Put the sway bar back on. Put the wheel back on. On the left side now, we have a new 
uh, suspension. Come on, let me click on you. There we go. And then the left sway bar. And lastly, the wheel. And that should be that. And it is not. I didn't put the filters back in. What am I doing? Filters, there we go. Airflow tube, new filter in, oil filter, put the cap back on. Did they want us to change the oil as well? Yeah, replace oil. So we'll put that fuel filter in. That should be the filters. Yes, that is the filters. We'll drain the old oil out. Here we go, right here. And then... Out comes the oil. There we go. Let's move this out of the way. some new oil in for them i think i might have missed something on the suspension because it's not clearing but we'll see what happens after i put the oil in there we go see how that went yep that's good did i miss something let's have a look so that should be the oil fix the suspension I might have missed something. I bet you it's a bushing. Yes, it is. That looks like... Left side... Whoops, where am I going? It's over here. Is it... What about... Oh, both bushings. So we need two more bushings. Yeah, both those were pretty low. That was 13%. What was the other one? 12%. So two bushings. R, S. One, two. There we go. Wow, this car needed a fair bit of work. There. I think that should be it. Yep, that is it. Before I do that, I'm going to sell everything in my inventory. Yes. And then we are now repaired. The car is incomplete. Let me guess. The cover on the engine. Yep. <laughs> I sold it. Okay, that is the first time I've done that. Wow. Um, Should have checked before I did it. Cover. Cover. There we go. Well, we, we sold all those and I spent it straight away. There we go. You've got a new plastic cover. All done. Repaired. Yes. A 
replace <laughs> damaged parts of the engine. The engine lacks power and sometimes doesn't run smooth. Can you check and repair it? Okay. So it's going to be the engine. Let's have a look. Please don't be anything in the gearbox. That catalytic converter looks a bit rough. Let's start examining all this. 69. 79. 76. 75. Belt tensioner is 21. So we'll take that off. Everything else seems reasonably okay. What about the starter on here? Starter looks about the same as everything else. That airflow tube looks... It's 71. Let's have a look at their filter because it could be their filter. I don't even have to examine that. That looks pretty bad. Yeah, 10%. Uh, let's just have a look at their fuel filter as well, just to double check. Well, that seems about like everything else. The airflow meter as well. Lucky I checked that. So... Air filter... And the tensioner. There goes the air filter. So they have a nice new one. The airflow meter. Could help them out with their filter as well. And then we'll put the new tensioner in. I believe that's some of it? Or is it done? No, it is not done. Hmm. Let's check their ignition wires. 61. 76. What about the spark plugs? Sixty-six. It's not that. I meant that one. Spark plugs. Come on. Ten percent. Can I take that up, please? Thank you. Now let's check the other side. How's that ignition wire? 11%. What about that ignition module? 22%. Let's check their spark plugs. 22. 20. So we need three spark plugs. An ignition wire and an ignition module. Three spark plugs. Can't repair anything. Nope. Three spark plugs. One, two, three. An ignition wire V6. Well, we'll get the ignition module and we'll check our inventory. But just to be sure. Ignition wires, V6 front. Ignition wires, V6 rear. Anything else? So it's V6 rear. V6 rear. There we go. this side put the new module in put 
Put the new spark plugs in. And put the new ignition wires on. This module was fine. And the last spark plug. In it goes. Ignition wires. And I believe that should be this vehicle. It is not. I need to stop saying that. <laughs> what about their oil filter? Let's check their oil filter. Nope. Oil filter is fine. Put the cap back on for that. What else could it be? Their timing belt looks a bit. No, the timing belt seems fine. Hmm. What about the oil? Yeah, the oil seems fine. Check the battery. Battery seems alright too. Maybe it's their starter? The starter looks alright, but we'll have a look. Nope. Starter seems fine. Their alternator? I don't think it would be their alternator, because the alternator looks about like everything else. But maybe it's deceptive. 62. What about this? We'll put the serpentine belt back on. Hmm. A noise. Engine looks lacks power. Sometimes doesn't run smooth. Can you check and repair it? Well, check the muffler actually, because that catalytic converter didn't look very good. So it could be that. Yeah, that catalytic converter is not in a good state. So let's get their muffler out. And we'll get them a new catalytic converter. I don't think you can repair that. But we'll have a look. So let's have a look. Nope. New catalytic converter. Catalytic converter? V6? Wait, let's just double check. I don't want to actually over... Yeah, it is a V6. V6. Let's see if we can get some discounts. We'll buy a new discount. We'll also increase our income. Let's buy another one. And then we'll get the catalytic converter. There we go. Gotta spend money to save money. That doesn't make sense. In goes the new catalytic converter. There we go. And let's see if I've actually done it this time. Yes, it is done. Repaired. So that'll be it for now. We'll, we'll have a look at we'll have a look at this one next time. But let's let's see what we're getting ourselves involved involved with. Uh, replace all worn out parts. Let's. Yes, they really needed someone to spell check this. <laughs> Let's kept it short. My car doesn't break. 
is low on power and makes noises on bumps. I leave it in your good hands. Well, thank you. So we'll be dealing with that next time. But until then, I hope you're enjoying more of Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. This is certainly more of more of it just with slightly different vehicles i'm not sure if they're all 4x4 but it's kind of cool to be able to work on a little a few more cars so we'll see how we go with this maybe it'll be short maybe not but we'll see well i hope you're enjoying it and until next time take care